Hi, so what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to bring a tutorial on um, how to set up views and maybe a couple of basics about views. So just go to Google or any search engine and just type in views, V-U-Z-E. That should be the first search result on the very top. Go into it. Um, I would suggest if you're going to buy a Plus, uh, you should try the free one. And if you like it, then go ahead and buy Plus. I already have Plus. Um, like it right here, you know, it burns DVDs and has an antivirus and it plays them on it. Um, this one does too, but I don't really know why. But I'll go ahead and download the free one. You should just download it right here. So. And then it tells you right here what Plus has and what the free one has. Um, there is the way you get it for free, but it's gonna put you through a lot of bullshit. It's gonna make you subscribe to Netflix and Gap and all that shit. So just leave it alone. Um, wherever you downloaded it, um, drag it to your desktop, and you're gonna need templates too, because without the templates, it won't get a search nice search results. So go ahead and uh, download those templates. So I'm gonna download them right now. There's one, two. Demonoid, it only works if you have an account for Demonoid and you're signed in, it would search under Demonoid, but since I don't have a Demonoid account, um, I'm not going to go ahead and download that one, so I'm just going to skip it. Mm -hmm. So go down more, down, down, and those. And yes, you have to download every single one of them. So there you go. So where we download it then? Go ahead and uh oh wait. My bad. So wherever you download them, go ahead and uh drag them to the desktop. Um I like using the Google Chrome because I could just click and drag wherever they are from. So I won't I won't really have to go look for them. I don't like opening folders, so Oh, that one's already there. Just go ahead, if you have them in your downloads or whatever folder, just go ahead and uh, copy them to your desktop. Or put them in a folder if you want. So, about to be done right here. I guess that's it. Alright, so once you get all the templates downloaded right here, go ahead and run the installer. You can just right click or just double click it, doesn't really matter. Personal choice. <clears throat> so let it run. So, yes. Um, if I was you, I would do custom, customize it because you could take out this bullshit ad. Um, my firewall for my AVG always asks me, so I would click allow. Yours, I'm not sure. So, I don't want a quick start button, um, uh, and I don't want that either. So, all I want is a desktop icon. That's pretty much it. Um, you don't want this shit. It's two bars, none of that shit. So right here, and uh, yes, again. So there, let's get install, and I'll put an icon on the desktop if you customize the install. If you didn't, then it's gonna leave you a lot of bullshit stuff. So always, when you're installing software, you customize install because it'll come with a bunch of add-ons and a bunch of software that you really don't want, and I'll just create clutter in your computer. So go ahead, allow. Um, you really don't want this, but deny. Don't. You don't want it. No. I was asking if you want WinZip, but I don't really want that. So, 
There it goes. This is the views right here. This is the basics of it. So, is it to check your internet speed? How fast you can download? So. Um, it's pretty interesting. The basic version you could, um, you could stream to other consoles like your Xbox or iTunes, and it tells you here the speed and all that. So, you just click OK, continue, and it's gonna set it. Still testing your your network. So, and then if you want to go here, I'll show you. Go ahead and minimize that, and this pop up comes out. It says, you know, go ahead and read it if you want it uh, to get views plus. So and it tells you other shit too. So, um, you could ignore it if you want, it's just a blog, uh, it doesn't really matter. So, oh, screen stuck up there. Uh, I can't get it out. I don't know what happened there, so I'm just fuck. Uh, let me just open it again. My bad. So it doesn't really matter. It's already finished anyway. So the new movie that just came out. So I'm searching right now. Um, you want to click right here because then it's gonna give you this. So. Since, like as you could know, this there's really no templates, and um, you're really not getting any results. This is really not what I want. So, you click right here, add. You see it? Add. The screen pops up, and then you see right here it says import a new template. So, why well, you just click on it? Like I said, whatever folder you have on the desktop or whatever, just go ahead and one by one. It says you can see it'll have a little blue frog. So, just go. There you go. One by one, just uh, let me stretch the screen to the side. There you go, much better. Yeah, so just do this. I mean, it'll take a while, but I mean, who cares? Did I already do these? I think I did. What does it matter? So, alright, also, like you saw, I already added all the templates, so let me go ahead and save it. Uh, we should restart. So, and all the templates should pop up on the right hand side. There you go. And there you go. Get the best search results right there. DVD ripped. I mean, that's pretty good search result for right there. So you should get the best search results from sites that you didn't even know. Or I mean, it takes forever just to go here and go to Google and just just search for TED. I mean, you could go to thousands of sites and you just won't find what you want. And this one literally goes through the the site's inventory and it just grabs everything that has to do with the keywords. Like TED is a keyword over here. So like if you really want to see the site so you go into it and I'll give you the site sample on the bottom um, running all right oh I guess just click continue something went wrong so whatever so, all right so there goes the site right here um, detected sorry it doesn't matter it's a bunch of pop-ups the site has so you could if you don't trust it you could go to any other one and uh, just keep going and look for other ones like this one right here I think this one's good so go ahead and download it if you want and you could either just click download um, I have an app that's called uh, ad blocker and it blocks the ads so uh, as right now I can see all these ads coming up and shit so you should get ad blocker and um, it shows you there 
the movie. Alright, so I'm gonna click download. Just go ahead and click download. This little message pops up. Alright, and I'll load. I mean, you could click exit. Nothing would happen to it. It'll still be downloading, and uh, it should start downloading. There should be a little arrow drop down. It'll tell you what it has: a sample clip and the movie. So, I mean, that's pretty much what views does. It gives you excellent search results. If you want, like other people, but I want to search it. I want to find my own. To my own. All right. So go ahead and search your own. You can just put torrent. And let's just search your own torrent and uh, look for it and just right click on it and now automatically just drop it into views and I'll start downloading. Um, say I finished downloading uh, TED, I could right click and I could stream to like my media. So I want to, I would stream it to my Xbox because I don't really want to watch it on my laptop. So I want to watch it on my TV. So I'll click stream and I'll just go directly to my Xbox and um, I could watch it on that. Mm. Uh, other than that, um, Views Plus lets you burn DVDs, and like this is what Views Plus has right here. No ads; it takes all the ads off. Um, I guess that's why I don't see ads. Um, you could get it for free, but it's gonna ask you to subscribe to like um, it's gonna say, "Oh, get a Netflix account, get um, this and that." So I really just paid the twenty-four dollars. People are gonna be like, "Why did you pay for it?" Um, views is a pretty good program and I think it's worth it so I really don't think I wasted my money I think it was worth it so if I was you and you like it um, go ahead and pay for it it won't rip you off it's pretty trustful and um, and it detects the viruses some torrents have viruses your antivirus should detect it but views detects it way faster before your antivirus detects it the antivirus only detects it when it's ready in your computer and you opened it up and that's when I'll detect it. Views detects it when other people report it so it'll tell you, are you sure you want to download this file? It's been reported as um, it has a virus so it won't let you download it or whatever you want. So I see it's downloading right now. It'll tell you the download speed and all that stuff. So um, That's pretty much it. Um, uh, oh yeah, and uh, there's some settings you could put. I'm going to put them on the bottom a description um, where it could be I think it was yeah right here the download speed and the upload speed I'm gonna put in the description what to put right now I don't have it because usually I use my laptop to download I mean my desktop my bad my desktop so I don't have the speeds right now but under the description I'll put them there and uh, you go ahead and input that and uh, yeah you just have to put it under this tab auto speed so other than that there's more settings that this one has backup and restore like if something happens um, this juice has so many settings in it and I mean I think this is an amazing program go ahead and try it if y'all want um, uh, I think that's pretty much it and uh like and subscribe and uh, peace out.